Hi everyone, I'm Rosemary, and welcome to the final episode of my 12 Styles of Christmas series, White Christmas Winter Wonderland Decor. I hope you enjoy. For the first DIY, I'm going to take two of these Dollar Tree crates, and I'm going to glue them both together, and then also paint them with some white chalk paint. Next, I'm going to take some of these Dollar Tree snowflake ornaments, and I'm going to just glue three to the front, three to the back, and one to each side. Then I'll take some of these Dollar Tree tree ornaments and Dollar Tree deer ornaments, and I'm going to be using those to create a little vignette. So what I did was I put some foam into the little boxes, and then I'm going to take some white paint and just paint right over the tops of the foam. And then while the paint is still wet, I'll take some of the Dollar Tree faux snow and just sprinkle it right on top. Then I took three of the tree ornaments and I wanted to glue the three together. Now I am using hot glue there, but I think um, both a combination of hot glue and E6000 is probably best to uh, attach these three trees together. And then uh, once I did get all three together, I did make four sets of those and I'm gonna use those to line the back of my vignette. So I just stuck them right there into the foam, uh, two to each box and just created a little back screen there in the back. And then the two deer went in opposite directions to the front and I did use a little hot glue to just secure them in place. And then I'm going to take another three trees and this time I'm going to glue two together side by side and then a third there in the middle and a little raised up. And then I just placed that set right towards the front. And then I wanted to add a little greenery to the piece. So I took a couple of sprigs of evergreen there from a wreath and just cut it down a little bit, give it a nice trim. And I just bent it into a uh, round shape and added a little collar for the deer. And here you can see how pretty everything comes together and how nice it looks with some greens and twinkling lights and what a great addition it would make to a mantle or an entertainment center or a buffet table or anywhere you would like to add a little winter wonderland magic. For the next DIY, I'm going to use one of the small Dollar Tree cylinder vases, a couple of these Dollar Tree ornaments, as well as this Dollar Tree box, which I lost the top. I don't know what I did with the top, but uh, this is just one of the Dollar Tree boxes that they sell. And then I'm going to use some of this caramel color paint to just create a stain, and I just watered it down so I don't want to cover it in the paint, just kind of create a nice stain for the wood. And then I'm gonna paint all of the wood with that caramel colored stain. And then I did also cut out a piece of cardboard. I traced the bottom of the vase and then just cut that out into a circle. And I'm gonna paint that with some of the white paint. And then again, take some of that Dollar Tree faux snow and sprinkle that on top of the wet paint. Next, I'm going to just take some wire cutters and just snip the top there off of the church. And then once the stain is dry on my little box, I am going to go back with some white paint and just do a little dry brushing over the top. I also grabbed a large wood bead from my stash and just also gave it a little dry brush treatment with the white paint. Next I took the cardboard disc and added some glue there to the middle and then attached the church ornament. Next I took some more glue and added that to the top of the box and then attached the ornament on top of that and now I'm just placing the vase over top. Now for the topper, I'm going to be using the star ornament and the large wood bead. I'm going to just add some E6000 glue there to the center of the bead and then place one of the points of the stars right inside. And then I can just attach that directly. But um, what I want to do here is I do have this little wood piece that was from a candle topper that I had uh, from a jar candle. So I'm going to just go ahead and give that some um, dry brush treatment on top of that as well. Glue that to the top of the vase and then add the star ornament topper on top of that. 
And then here is the finished project. I just love these little scenes under glass. I just think they're so cute. And this one comes together so quickly, easily, and inexpensively with just a few Dollar Tree items and some tidbits from around the house. And now here is another quick and easy scene under glass using this Dollar Tree jar. And then there to the left is a recycled fruit cup container. And then I'll also be using these Dollar Tree bottle brush trees in white. And I'm gonna just glue those to the inside of the jar lid. And then I'm gonna make a big hot mess using the uh, little foam bead snow from the Dollar Tree. And I just wanted to put that there in the bottom. And you can see, I just, I had to actually use my vacuum cleaner to clean that up because uh, they were going everywhere. Anyway, I then went and painted the fruit cup container with some brown paint and then also gave it a little dry brush of the white paint on top of that. I also did a dry brush to the jar lid as well. And then I just glued the recycled container to the jar and then added a little snow covered pine cone to the top of that. And then here is the finished project, a cute little snowy scene captured under glass using some Dollar Tree products, a little paint and a recycled fruit cup container. For the next DIY, I'm going to take this Dollar Tree sign as well as these 15 inch shims and I'm going to alternate the thin and thick sides of the shims and then glue them down in place on the sign using some wood or multi-purpose glue. Next, I'm going to take this piece on earth sign from the Dollar Tree and paint it with some dark green paint. Next, I'm going to go back to my sign and I'm again going to use that caramel color stain that I used for the little box earlier that I made using some caramel color paint mixed in with a little water. And I'm going to just go ahead and paint that over all of my little wood shims. Then once the paint was dry on my Peace on Earth sign, I went back again with some more of that stain and I just wanted to do a little distressing around the edges of that sign. Since this is going to be sitting on top of the wood sign, since it will have kind of a 3D effect, the print as well on this in a natural situation would have also gotten weathered and worn. So I'm going to just go all around the edges of the lettering and then I'll also brush some over the top as well, um, trying to recreate what would happen if it was actually weathered in nature. And then to give the sign a weathered effect, I'm going to go back with some white paint and I'll be doing some dry brushing with the white paint onto the sign. And then in any areas, if I go a little bit too crazy, like I do right there with the white paint, I did just go back with some of the other paint, just kind of um, toning that down a little bit. And then once everything was finished on that, I went back and just attached the Peace on Earth sign to the wood sign with some of the wood glue again, or all-purpose glue. And then I'm going to just kind of off-center that because I do want to wrap the edges there with some of the twine and add a little floral as well. So I just took some twine and wound it around the bottom there. And then also I wanted to add a little bit of snow effect to the pine that I cut off of a wreath. And so I just took some of white uh, craft paint and just proceeded to paint that on top to create that snow effect and then hot glued it into place and then added a couple of snow covered pine cones as well. And then here is the finished project, a weathered woodland winter wonderland, say that five times, sign with a beautiful Christmas sentiment. For the next DIY, I'm going to take three popsicle sticks and cut them down into three and a half inches. Then I'm also going to be using these giant craft sticks that I got from Walmart. And I'm going to cut the first one down to eight inches. Then I'm going to cut a second down to eight inches, but then cut that second one in half. Next, I'm going to take a full size craft stick and cut that one in half as well. I'll also be using some of these woodcraft cubes from the Dollar Tree. Next, I'm gonna take the three popsicle sticks as well as the full size jumbo craft stick that I cut in half and paint those all with some green craft paint. Then I'm going to use some of the caramel paint stain to stain the other pieces of the wood. Next, I'm going to attach the little wood cubes to the long green pieces of wood. And so what I did was I just added a little glue there to the side of the cube, and then I'm going to line the green pieces of wood up with a ruler and add the cubes there at both the three and eight inch marks. 
and then I just placed some glue there on top of the cubes and then I had to actually cut down my cross pieces. I had them at three and a half inches. They needed to be three inches. So I cut those down a little bit and then just placed them on top there on top of the cubes. Next, I took my stain pieces and placed the large one there in the center and then the two smaller ones to each side, right on top of the cubes. And then I did have to shift them down a little bit because I didn't need to make enough room for that crossbar up at the top, which is still three and a half inches, by the way. And then I wanted to also add a little decoration. So I took a couple of these green sprigs as well as this little pine cone, wrapped them with some twine and then tied a little bow. And then I just hot glued that in place at the top of my sled. And then here's the finished project, a cute little sled in warm woodland colors. It makes a great decor piece as well as a great little project for the family. For the next DIY, I'm going to be using this Dollar Tree frame, which I've already taken apart. I'm going to don't need the glass. I'm going to just set that aside. And then also one of these party bead necklaces. And I'm going to paint both of them with some white spray paint. And then once they were painted, I just took the necklace and cut it down into strips and then glued those strips to the inside of the frame. And then I just took some more of that watered down caramel colored paint and just did a little dry brush streaks across the frame and the beads. And don't do like me, wait for these to dry before you uh, attempt this step. I had to go back and fix where I had just uh, pulled the beads out because I did not let those dry the way they should have. And now at this stage, you could just use this as a frame, but I wanted to create a decor piece and I was going to use that little Christmas card there with the snowman, but I wasn't loving the colors too much. They were a little bright for what I was going for. So I decided to just go ahead and create my own little woodland snowy tree scene. And so I just took a sage colored or moss colored uh, paint there to the back and then a darker green uh, in the front for the tree to the front and then I just went in with some white paint on the bottom of a paintbrush and created some snow on top. And then here is the finished project, a charming snowy woodland scene in a beaded rustic wood frame, so pretty as a decor piece or with photos. For the next DIY, I'm going to use this globe vase as well as these snowflake stickers, both which I got from the Dollar Tree. And then I'm going to take some Dollar Tree spackle and mix it with some craft paint to create my favorite spackle paint. But before I paint the vase, I'm going to just apply these snowflake stickers uh, all around. I'm going to do large ones then small ones and kind of just mix up all the prints and just take those all the way around the exterior of the little vase. Once all the stickers are on, I'm going to take my paint that I've now mixed. And so I mixed it at half and half, half spackle to half paint. I think it was a little thick because I actually did use chalk paint here. So it would probably be better if it's half and half for regular craft paint. If you are going to use a chalk paint, I'd go a little less than half and half. This ended up being a little bit too thick. Um, but I just went around all of the surface of the vase then I did give it a little sprinkle with some of this fine glitter, just to give it a little extra sparkle. Then I set it aside to allow the paint to completely dry. Then once the paint was dry, I was able to go back and remove the stickers, which of course left a little snowflake imprint in the paint. And then between the shape of the vase and the texture of the paint, it makes it look like a little snowball. And then when you pull away the little uh, stickers, you have these little snowflake shaped windows, which is great because I'm going to be using this as a candle votive. So the light from the candle will shine through the little windows. And then to clean up any of the residue left by either the sticker or the paint, I went back with a Q-tip that I had dipped in some white vinegar and just cleaned up all the way around um, the snowflake and all around the glass. And then here is the finished project, a little snowball snowflake globe votive. You can make several of these and, and put them all around the house. They would look so cute in a winter wonderland theme. For the last DIY, I'm going to use some of this chunky yarn that I bought from Walmart. 
as well as one of these garland glitter trees that I got from Dollar Tree. Now I just removed the glitter garland and that leaves me with this skeleton underneath. I paint, painted that with some white spray paint and then I'm going to just take the yarn and begin attaching that first there at the bottom just using some hot glue. So I'm just going to hot glue uh, down there around the frame at the bottom and then just stick the yarn right into the hot glue and then just proceed to do that all the way around the bottom and then work my way up the frame adding some hot glue sporadically here and there as I go. And here is the finished project, a cute little fuzzy wuzzy tree in a beautiful winter white. Now, you could also make this project using the poster board cone shapes like I did in the previous DIYs in this series. And then you can make them all different sizes, if you like, up to 20 inches tall. And I'll leave a link to one of those videos here and in the description box. Well, I hope you have enjoyed this last installment of my 12 Styles of Christmas series. If you enjoyed the video, please remember to give a big thumbs up. And please let me know in the comments which one of these was your favorite. If you would like to check out the other videos in this series or see some great Christmas gift ideas, click on one of these videos here. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time.